Hey everyone, it's a Friday evening here in Hanoi, Vietnam. Today's date is April 12th, 2024. The time's about 8 o'clock p.m. Temperature is 82 Fahrenheit, 28 Celsius. Alright folks, let's get this walk started. I'm going to be walking towards the old quarter. This is the Ba Din area, which is just above the old quarter. Hold on, I still gotta um, put some stuff away before I continue walking one of the uh, bad things about doing this live stream without an intro screen I wish the audio issues on those intro screens was fixed already but we'll have to make do until that happens Should be pretty lively here in the Hanoi Old Quarter. Especially around Huan Kim Lake. I hope it's more eventful than last weekend when it was very rainy and it kind of dampened the mood a little bit of that weekend. Who knows, Cruzy? I just know that I haven't changed anything with the intro screen and I'm having issues with it now. It's definitely software related or something with YouTube. Some nice lights going on here.
This restaurant is awesome, by the way. The Chin Coffee, Banh Mi, Food and Beer. By the way, some uh, very good news about my future live streams in Vietnam, including this one. I was able to get a SIM card with a larger data allowance per day with an um, 8 gigabyte daily cap. So no more 5 gigabyte cap anymore. Now I have an 8 gigabyte cap. And I still have the five gigabyte SIM card if I need to. So if my math is correct, I should be able to safely stream around two hours and 40 minutes instead of the about an hour and 40 minutes that I was able to do previously. Not that I'd like to uh, make my streams that long, but it's nice to know that I have the option of making the streams longer if I want to. But it is rather a hassle to deal with the data caps here in Vietnam. I don't know why they're put in place, but Yeah, that's true, Toto. I could do two live streams. But good news is I have a lot of data now. I can really stream for like 13 gigabytes of data total if I wanted to. This place I always pass by is always so busy on weekend. Kem Karaman Duang Hoa. Yasser yeah, Blanco, Montequin, do I know how to speak Vietnamese? Just a little bit of phrases here and there. I'm still trying though. But as with any, any language, it will take time.
We're going to pass by a French water tower. This was built during the colonial period. I didn't even recognize it until I looked it up. I was like, whoa, that's a water tower. This is Hong Dao Street. It's so busy. That walking signal didn't last for too long. But as with anywhere in the world, don't just rely on the signal. Use your eyes and ears to know when it's safe to cross the street. We should be encountering the street market tonight since it's Friday. Streets are starting to get a little bit more busy. Doong says, let's go to Sword Lake. That's where I'm going. It should be a much more lively night compared to last weekend since it was drizzling. I think a lot of people didn't come out because of that. Yes, yeah, and I know that the walking street at Sword Lake is amazing.
Okay, here we are. I love this area during the weekend. You get some really great clothing here. Okay, last job, guys. Eighty thousand to a hundred thousand. So you're not going to spend more than four dollars. Trước anh chị ơi Đồng hồ đồng giá 59 nghìn trước anh chị ơi get a little bit tricky to walk in here at times. This kind of looks like popcorn ice cream. Pacalypse says the place looks nice. Thank you for the stream. Yeah, Hanoi has really surprised me a lot. There's a lot going on here. Kevin says looks lively every night. No, not like not like Friday or Saturday here in the old quarter. I 
I could turn off soon and I show you um, Beer Street again. Yeah, we can do that. It's the next street I need to turn on. Ken says, what did surprise you in Hanoi? A lot of things, especially when you get used to a place for a while, seeing new things, it surprises you, like the amount of scooters around, the infrastructure, the money system, the food, lots of things. It's all part of the experience. I wish I had the ability to walk through objects like that garbage can. Spark, did you find any bun mees that were better than the one in bun me 362? Yes, I have. I actually think it might be coming up, unless it's the other street I passed. But I do need to turn here. This one looks pretty good though. There's a line for it. This area of Hanoi is amazing. Live entertainment, music.
Wonder how busy Beer Street is going to be. Otherwise known as Ta Hien Street. Yeah, Dob is really touristy here. This is probably the most tourist street in Hanoi. Ta Hien Beer Street. Loud music is plenty here on Ta Hien Beer Street. Again, asking if I like Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City more. Um, they're both really good. But I would say I like Ho Chi Minh City just a little bit more than Hanoi from what I've seen I can compare with. This is definitely copyrighted. There's so many restaurants here. It's unbelievable. And lots of great music too, if that's what you're into, but I can't even stream it without getting into issues with copyright. party in there. It's difficult to move around in there. You're practically touching people. It's 
someone selling balloons up there? That's wild. Wow, they got so many balloons. They better be careful, they might fly away. Look at this, folks. You can get a cold beer for 10,000 Vietnamese dong. That's like 40 cents in the US. Beer is less expensive than water. Yeah, I saw that, Sherry. There was even a minion balloon. Free beer in here, too. They're talking Korean. Rosie says you can get drunk basically for free. Hey, you might even find people to buy you drinks. What I like is that they incorporate some culture here too, not just all about the partying and the beer. Brian says, my gosh, there's no place to walk. It's too crowded. Well, you don't have to be there. That's the beauty of it. There's other areas in Hanoi that aren't like that. But if that's your scene, feel free to go on to Taihan Beer Street. For me, um, that's not really my type of environment. I like to walk through it and show it, but I don't really like to hang out in those places. It says a bit calmer here. Yeah, a little bit. But once we get to Wan Kim Lake, Sword Lake, it'll start to get more busy there too.
That was a beautiful musical performance back there. I like to show more of it, but sometimes even the live bands, you don't know if you'll run into copyright issues or not. But beautiful costumes, instruments, everything. And then you have something up over here too. Look at this, there's like a ticket area here and they're coming out to perform on the stage. Notice there's so many things going on every weekend. It's usually like that. The weekends are when people have the most free time and there's usually a lot of community activities, um, events going on. You'll see them. That's an amazing band back there. Great singers, instruments as well. Kevin said, a lot of live music, but too much copyright. Well, the thing is, I'm also not an encyclopedia. I don't know what songs are going to be <laughs> copyright free and detected by YouTube and which ones are going to have a claim on them. And when in doubt, treat everything the same. 
and I take it very seriously because when I did my first live stream here in the old quarter, there was a song 20 seconds long that got detected for copyright and it glo the live stream got blocked worldwide. So I'm not taking any chances. Not supposed to ride that here. Okay, welcome to Sword Lake, Juan Kim Lake. The most popular walking street in Hanoi. Bubbles. The red says many Western tourists there. You see, there's tourists from all all the all places throughout the world. get coffee here. Singer here.
Johnny, be good. She is good. This guy's jumping rope in the double dutch. Wow, people have some talent here. I wouldn't last two seconds in there. Amazing what you can do with three people and a rope. There's so many children here too. What is this? Kem Koi Tra Dao. Iced tea, I guess. There's another stall with the same name over there by the lake. Oh really? Yeah, and it's smoky ice cream? Sounds kind of interesting. That looks pretty interesting. It looks like a uh, sweet flower that's very stretchy.
Yes, yeah, Scarlett, there's um, no motor vehicles allowed on the weekends here, or at least the nighttime. This is the largest walking street in Hanoi. Let's walk through the courtyard where the statue of Li Tai To is. There's always a lot of people here having fun, roller skating, riding their bikes. More popular for young kids. Some of these kids are going to be expert motorbike riders when they grow up. Yeah, Hien, the kid was too big. I heard from a contact of mine that the minimum age to ride a motorbike is 15. So you have to be 15 to ride a motorbike. And that's under 50 cc's. When you turn 18, you can ride faster than 50 cc. Oh, there's a remote control the uh, <laughs> car. Oh, again, it's 16, not 15. Or maybe it's a little bit different depending on where in Vietnam you are. Jan wants me to go to the lake and swim to the turtle tower. I don't think I have the abilities to do that. But it's definitely possible.
There's certainly a lot more people out on this weekend compared to last weekend. You can thank the weather for that. So this is smoky ice cream. I think I'd like to try it. This is cool. Wow. I'll get one. How much is it? Okay. Wow, it looks like pebbles. <laughs> and you get some... Uh... That's 50,000, I should get 10,000 back. Come on. All right. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Come on. Woo! It is cold. Woo! Look at that. Okay. Do I how long do I wait to eat this? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Mysterious. Am I gonna get brain freeze? Woo! You can use this as a beauty product too, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's the, that's the intent of this, but... <laughs> Alright, let's find a place to sit. Um, I think there's a bench over there. <laughs> Woo! Might be dry ice, I don't know. I have a feeling it's gonna start melting by the fi time I find somewhere to sit. That's the problem, there's not enough seating areas here. Or I'll just sit by the lake. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll sit here. Woo! Okay. Is it even ice cream? I don't know. You're gonna... Okay. <laughs> what is this thing? So you get... Toothpicks? How do you eat this? Do you stick it in here? Well... I guess you use them as chopsticks, maybe? Alright, the um, piece I tried was like cereal. I think there might be like other stuff in here that's more like creamy. But that was kind of interesting. It was um, like a lime-based cereal. This one too. Um, is there any other stuff in here that's different? What's this green ball? i like to know what that is. And there's a red ball in here too. Wow. This is interesting. So, um, it is cold. Kind of, piece of it, like, kind of stuck to my mouth a little bit. But it, like, 
came apart, so it's not really going to give you like frostbite or anything, but it's crunchy. I'm sure you could hear it. Um, this strawberry um, liquid that they put on it, it already froze and it like covered this cereal bit, so it's good. I can't really tell if there's any like cream in here at all, but yeah, there's no cream in here. If I had to um, say anything about this, it's like having a frozen cereal. DMAS Coral 76 with $5. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you. First time I've ever had something like this. It's kind of cool, but I would equate this more to like a snack that's kind of cool looking rather than the ice cream. Unless there is ice cream in here, maybe at the bottom. <laughs> The only part that's sweet in here is the strawberry, um, strawberry topping that they put on it. It's cool, but I would actually prefer to get ice cream over this. I feel like I'm having breakfast right now <laughs> in ice cream form or ice. <laughs> Frozen form. I'll give you a view of the lake. Well, I finish this. Part of these, um, is getting a little bit soft and not as crunchy as before so better to eat it quickly I think Would I get this again? Yes, I would, but I would prefer ice cream over this. This is definitely on the sweet side though, so it's more of a dessert than anything. What would be good with this is some milk, I think. Some milk will go well with this. But I've never had anything like this before. Thanks Trendy Cosmetics for two pounds. Thanks AK for exploring this live stream. I appreciate it Trendy Cosmetics.
if I had to compare this to anything, it's like the frozen version of Captain Crunch in um, the U.S. There's a cereal brand called Captain Crunch. Just a lot of crunch. <laughs> And conveniently, there's a trash can right here. I think it was a similar type of music from last time that got me in trouble that's coming up. Tiffany, I finished it all. I did. Yeah, unfortunately, I think so, Cabby. You do have the um, bad apples here that cause trouble. Yeah, Johnny Z, it's actually pretty busy. Busier than I thought for a Friday.
Uh, try no. This is a temporary walking street. They turn it into a walking street on the weekends. I think on the weekend nights. There's Gong Cha. Popular bubble tea spot. It's an interesting looking Uniqlo in this building. Looks pretty nice inside. I just saw it was uh, 499,000 dong for a polo shirt, which is about $20 US. Hey, Wayne 5 XP with a $20 super chat. Thank you, Wayne 5 XP, for the generous super chat. Glad you're watching the stream. Appreciate it very much. The police car, ambulance.
good amount of businesses on this street here. Valerie says the first sirens I heard there. I haven't really heard too many sirens. You're you're right. They're infrequent here in Hanoi. This looks like a nice shopping mall, the Trang Tien Plaza. Oh, thank you, 8066. I am having a lot of fun here in Hanoi. These kids are better drivers than the motorbike riders in the streets. She actually turns before coming to me. Uh-oh. I spoke too soon, folks. We had a first crash already that doesn't bode too well for their future of motorbike riding in Vietnam. going on here. Hey look, an empty stage. These look like all students.
What's happening over here? People are gathered in a circle. I'll show you a magic trick, folks. You see this hand? It's got nothing in it, right? I'm gonna put it away. And I'm gonna bring out the hand again. It's also got nothing in it. That's my magic trick. You didn't think I could do magic, did you? Adam says, how did you do that? Magician never reveals the secrets. <laughs> Kem Trang Tien since 1958. Ice cream spot. Whoa. Look at the line for this. I gotta get an ice cream from here. Man, this is an ice cream spot? This is amazing. This must be like the most popular ice cream spot in Hanoi. Let's see what flavors they have. Simeon, you tried it when you're in Hanoi. Pink guava, 15. They got great prices on their ice cream. 15,000 dong for an ice cream? That's what, like 40 cents US? Look, we got old pictures of Hanoi over here, of the lake the old quarter and everything. No, I'm not trying dirty and I'm gonna pass on that. Whoa. Look at this place. And what's the difference between this line and the line outside? Or maybe they're different ice creams. One's like cone and the other one's cup. What's this one for? Sticky rice ice cream? No one's lining up for this one. Yeah, I don't really uh, want this either. Let's 
line up for the one that everyone else is doing up here. Either this one or this one here. Let's go for this one. Since 1958. And then they have another line over there, which is going much quicker. So. Okay, we can get a limited amount of flavors here. Cacao, vanilla or matcha, uh, apricot ice cream, pink guava. There's rice uh, flake too. Wait, no. Yeah, let me get rice cake. That's gonna be interesting. I want a rice cake flavor. That's unique that I've never had before. Man, how did I not know about this place earlier? I think I'm just gonna get the popsicle bar so it's not so... Uh... Well, I'll go for the cone, why not? Thankfully, I have exact change right here. Exactly 17,000 dong. 10,000 dong, 5,000 dong, and 2,000 dong. Enough for an ice cream cone, all right. Let's see how fast this line moves. Oh, look at all those popsicles. Simeon says it's less crowded when he came last time, maybe because it's Friday. Yeah, maybe. So I'm gonna get this flavor up here on the upper right corner. The rice cake flavored cone. They also got durian. You know I don't like the durian flavor. I wonder how the rice cake is going to taste. Hello, uh, rice cake cone, come. Uh, rice cake. No more. Uh, chocolate. Oh, only this one? Okay. This is the only one that's rice cake. Okay. No more. Uh, too bad. I couldn't get the cone, but at least I got a rice cake flavor. Okay. Let's try it. Alright, I'll try it here. Rice cake popsicle. I couldn't get the cone because they didn't have any more, but at least it's rice cake popsicle. Mmm. 
Wow. This tastes good. It's like a slight sweet um, dessert. It, it tastes like a, um, a rice cake. <laughs> I don't know what else to, how else to explain it, but um, in like Chinese and Taiwanese like bakeries, they have something that tastes like this. It's hard to describe, but it is a really ricey taste and it's cold. It is good. Mmm. Mmm. That's amazing. This ice cream spot is so good. Wow. No wonder why everybody's here. This is like the best um, <laughs> place in Hanoi. <laughs> Come here, everybody's happy. Let's see the outside line now. It got a lot less. Also, what impresses me is how large their store is. Yeah, Hung Mao, I'm gonna have to come back here and make a Action Kid extra video. You know I have to. I'll call it eating at Vietnam's most famous ice cream shop. How many lines do they need, really? This one is a uh, Chem 33. And then there's a Thai restaurant here. Oh, you're paying for the Thai food here, that's for sure. Stir-fried beef with basil leaves is 250,000 dong. That's $10. So anything around the 250,000 range is 10 bucks. Pad Thai is 220,000. Wow, under a dollar for this. <laughs> so good. It's too bad I didn't have the cones available, but at least I had a rice plate flavor. And I do need to put my uh, 2,000 dong note away. It's gonna be a little bit hard to use though because 
This has a value of like eight cents. And it's rare that um, people price their prices in um, multiples of 2,000. Usually it's either 5,000 or 10,000 that they list their prices. Why don't we go back to the lake? It'll also test how good this new SIM card is. This new SIM card can stream up to 8 gigabytes a day. If my math is correct, that should be, be about 2 hours and 40 minutes of streaming. Cat on a leash. We haven't noticed any buffering. I've noticed a connection dip in some places, but it's really not too bad. Tiffany is a nice place.
Dutch band saying for all the people, for as many people as you see, the streets are very clean. Yes, they really are. And they even have garbage bins here for people to use. Ruben Van Wee, Hanoi vs. Ho Chi Minh, just asking. Um, matter of personal preference, really. One's not better than the other. I like Ho Chi Minh City just a little bit better than Hanoi. What really bothers me about Hanoi is the air pollution. That's a significant drawback to Hanoi. Peter says, don't know if you're aware of this, but for some reason YouTube um, will send out notifications for live streams late. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Hopefully they could um, remedy that eventually. Or maybe it has something to do with the settings. Eighty sixty six saying everybody looks happy. I love that. I've actually noticed that here in Hanoi. When I'm walking around, I see a lot more people who are happy compared to all the places that I've been to. That's just my um, observation. You see a lot more people doing group activities and socializing. Whereas in a lot of places that I go to, you see a lot of people keeping to themselves and kind of in their phones. Well, good to see this SIM card still holding up with the data. If it was with my other SIM card, I think the stream may have had issues by now.
Whoa. This is cool. I want to see this. kind of cool. I don't know what they're recording for, but it looks fun. Adam says it's that BTS. No way. You know, I wonder if that ice cream vendor that I bought from previously is also the same company that I had just now. We'll see it, it's coming up. Because why else would they also have a durian flavored ice cream popsicle? 
I'm sure they're related. We'll find yeah. out when I get there. Oh no, it's different. This one is Duta. It's a different ice cream company. Let's see Hagen Dazs. I wonder how much Hagen Dazs is compared to the 15,000 dong ice cream that I got. One scoop of ice cream Hagen Dazs is 85,000 Vietnamese dong. So that's three dollars and change for one scoop. Meanwhile, you can get like five of those for the price of one Hagen Dazs scoop. Looks like it got even more busy since I was last here. Yeah, Ruben, we're back at the Titanic building. I actually ate in this restaurant today, the Hanoi 1930 Bistro. You'll see my review of it when I publish it, but it was an experience. I had to do it.
Strawberry tea, tropical tea. Mendoza. It looks similar to the Julia and Henry's building. It was originally called the Walgreens building. Look, they're selling the same thing here. Who wants frozen cereal? That vendor calls a little bit of a line. It smells good too. Children's clothing, sixty thousand. There's so many cool little like souvenirs and stuff you can buy here. Different scents, colognes, perfumes. Silk too. Pricey materials.
Cutting up a mango. You know what I kind of wonder about those yellow rubber duckies since I came from Taiwan? I kind of wonder if the rubber ducky is here in Vietnam somewhere and I just don't know about it. Or maybe those yellow ducky accessories are leftovers from when Taiwan hosted it. And they never sold them, so now they're here. But I'm gonna look it up to see where the um, giant yellow rubber duck is. Maybe it's here in Vietnam. You can smell the fruits. Oh, there's plenty of stuff here, not just fruits. This looks like a nice little coffee shop on the second floor. You know what? I think I may get a juice from here. Why not? I'll sit down and have a juice. Yes, thank you. All right. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, combo meal. A bun me and a smoothie. What kind of smoothie should I get? Uh, ooh. Banana. Okay. Yes. A bun me and a smoothie for 80,000. 
I'll get a combo too. Yeah, bun me and uh, banana. What? Banana smoothie. Combo two. Yeah, combo two. You want to bread? Uh, a basic. Basic. Yeah. Smoothie? You want uh, smoothie? Yes, banana. Banana, just yeah, banana. Just banana. Actually no, I can get the uh, beef. Oh one. Yeah. Not not basic beef beef? Yeah, beef. I just realized this uh, applies to any bun yeah. bunny, not not the beef mix. And, uh, banana, smoothie. banana, yes, thank you. Can you buy now? Yes. Okay. Okay. Eighty thousand. Thank you very much. All right. All right, folks. Gonna have a live bun me here. On the streets of Hanoi. Oh, thank you. My change. So 80,000 for this combo number two. Which comes out to $3.20. I think they're making the bun me right there. Yeah, you can see them. This place is called the Juicy Spot. Juicy Shop. For smoothie, coffee, and tea. So the bun me is made <laughs> make with passion and homemade sauce, pork roll, fried chicken egg, local herbs, carrot and papaya pickles, sweet chili sauce and pate. Looking forward to this. Yeah, Jerry, three dollars and twenty cents for this great price. Yeah, Eddie, the food here is really cheap compared to the U.S. The U.S. dollar goes a long way here in Vietnam. You can get a lot of items here for like just over a dollar and it'll fill you up. It's unbelievable. Heck, I even get stuff delivered and it's like two, three dollars and it fills me up. I don't even have to go to a restaurant. Meanwhile, in uh, the U.S., 
you spend like ten dollars it's not even enough for lunch sometimes to fill you up here two dollars <laughs> it's like five times more expensive in the u.s just to fill you up on the meal and um i really hate to be saying this about the united states but uh the quality of the fruits and vegetables in the U.S. is um, something to consider about it. I don't know why it's like pumped full of chemicals and hormones and antibiotics and pesticides and they, it costs more. Oh, it's horrible. Like sometimes like the organic stuff isn't even organic. It was like a research that was done on that. Meanwhile here, it's like everything, all the fruits and vegetables are assumed to be organic. It's grown here. That's, that's what I really hate about the United States food, the fruits and vegetables. Like, why do they have all these preservatives and uh, stuff in the vegetables and the fruits? It's like, that's not the way we're supposed to eat fruit, fruits and vegetables. and. Uh, genetically modified um, food is like, what the heck? I noticed a big difference when I uh, went to London and I was like, whoa, the quality of the fruits and vegetables is so much better here. Even here in uh, Vietnam, Taiwan, Thailand, I feel like I've lost weight here just eating food that I normally eat in the U.S. Meanwhile, like, here it feels like everything is healthier. Okay. Johnson says, not much flavors in the U.S., everything tastes kind of bland. Um, it's hard to get better flavors in the U.S. when it comes to fruits and vegetables. I agree with you on that point, but you can make it taste very good. But it just rubs me the wrong way when I eat food that's like genetically modified or Yes, thank you. Okay. That's, that's genetically modified. It has like preservatives in it. Banana smoothie from the Juicy Shop. Mm. Man, this banana smoothie is good. Oh man. It's creamy. Perfect way to wind down tonight's live stream, folks. Mm. So good. Can't wait for the bun me to come out. She's like five minute walk. 
Let's see if this bun me is better than uh, bun me 362, which was the best bun me I had in Saigon. Taking a little bit of time to make uh, the bun me. enjoying the atmosphere. It's nice here. Just even people watching is nice. Oh, thank you. Yes. All right. We got it, folks. Grilled beef bun me. I'm going to take it out and then eat it from the bag. It's easier to eat it from the back because it's less messy. Oh man. That looks good. Here we go. Good old beef, bun me. 80,000 for this combo meal, $3.20. Unbelievable. This is good. Mm. Bread is crunchy. That's the mo best, um, most important thing of the bun meat is the bread. And the bread is amazing. Grilled beef is good too. Veggies are fresh, carrots, the sauce, everything. Man. Alright folks, I'm going to turn this around so you can see the street, but I'm going to enjoy this. I'm loving my uh, new SIM card. I want to see how long it can go on a uh, eight gigabyte daily cap.
tub of popcorn saying good cell phone service prices there I bet um, about cell phone prices this is interesting so landing in Tunson yet airport in Ho Chi Minh City I paid 290,000 dong for 30 days of unlimited data that's what they wrote on the paper but I found out it's not actually unlimited there's a 5 gigabyte a day cap on it and I recently recharged it at a VHL store for 125,000 dong which <laughs> is five dollars and I paid um, almost twelve dollars at the airport for the same plan and I recharge it for five dollars and my plan that I got today the eight gigabyte plan was two hundred and fifty thousand dong which is ten dollars so even that plan was cheaper than the airport so just let that be some uh, information for you if you want to get a cell phone plan and you want to save a little bit of money go to Viatel go to the Viatel store because you can get an 8 gigabyte plan for 10 bucks 250,000 dong meanwhile you pay at the airport you'll get um, deceived into thinking it's unlimited data but it's not it's capped and you'll be paying more more than double than what you can get at Viatel. <laughs> but then again, um, if you're coming from the United States and you're landing at the airport, you have to factor in your time value too. Because it's almost twelve hours at the airport, but you go to the store. Oh thank you. Oh he's taking napkins. Um, you go to the store, it's five bucks. So you're saving like six, seven dollars, so you have to consider if that six, seven dollars is worth your time not getting it at the airport and going to the store where you may have to wait and the staff may not be knowledgeable in how to speak in English. So there's a convenience that you pay at the airport. But here in Vietnam, I think it's hard to get a cell phone plan without a data cap. It's very weird here. All the plans, they have a data cap on them. And I don't understand the reasoning behind it. But at least uh, the 8 gigabyte plan is a fairly generous one. Even the 5 gigabyte one for my normal phone, that's more than enough data for my needs. It's only if I'm streaming where the data becomes an issue. So, the thing is with my phone plan also, I already recharged um, both of my plans that I had before looking into a new one. So, now I have two 5 gigabyte 
uh, daily cat plans and one eight gigabyte daily cat plan. So if I need to, I can always use extra data. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, dream machine, um, get better soon. Done with my meal and my drink. Highly recommend getting a combo meal here at the juicy the juicy shop. It's really good. Great price too. And that was much needed after a long walk that I did. Exactly, tub of popcorn says prices get even cheaper when you leave a tourist area too. Jared says the best bun me I ever had. Uh, no way. That was a pretty good bun me, but not the best that I've had. So I don't know exactly when this live stream is going to cut out for my 8 gigabytes data daily cap, but I assume it'll be somewhere around like 2 hours and 50 minutes. We'll see. City Walk says, how many steps a day has been my highest ever? I don't really know. I've lost count. Actually, I don't even count how many steps I do a day. I do remember there was a day where I walked like uh, Manhattan, Queens, and Brooklyn. And that was a long day.
Yes, Maria, it's been two hours and 35 minutes now for this live stream. By far the longest live stream I've done in Vietnam yet. Oh, I see city walks your family enjoyed Vietnam, but it was very hot. I definitely can hung Mao if I wanted to. Better to have the option to do so than not. You know, out of all this time, I don't think I've ever walked over to the right. Let's take a look at this. Looks like it's a lot of uh, food here. This looks pretty good. Chicken pho. Pork bone kanji, burned garlic liver. Porks, kidneys, and heart kanji. A pillow cake. Kind of looks like an empanada to me. But I can understand why they call it a pillow cake. It looks like a pillow.
You can certainly eat a lot of uh, unique animal parts here in Vietnam. Liver, kidney, intestine. But I had that in Taiwan also. Wow, I didn't even know this extended all the way down here. It's actually cool. <laughs> the only uh, baseball teams they have are the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. <laughs> What happens to the other baseball teams? <laughs> hey, New York Yankees. It goes all the way down here. Peter says, just wouldn't want to fall asleep on that pillow. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do that. Wow, how far does this go? This is incredible. Even at this time of day, you can get clothing from this market. Roy is saying endless market. Well, we found the end. One of the things I love about Hanoi is how you can just come up on a random restaurant on the sidewalk like this and just have a meal. And they're still cooking at this hour. Kind of quiet down there. Gotta peek, make sure there's no motorbike coming. You know, Vietnam is the only place in the world I've been to that has that kind of a car horn. It kind of sounds like a circus horn to me, like... I don't know why they have that tune, but it's just strange to me.
This is how they do the dishes in Vietnam. Okay. They just wash them on the street with big plastic tubs of water and soap. Time to cross the streets. Oh no. Will I make it? Yes, I am. Look how easy it is to cross the street in Vietnam, man. Look how easy it is. Why you gotta risk your life walking when there's tons of cars and motorbikes coming? You just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. And then there's an opening. You don't gotta worry about anything. Forget all those other videos I made about how you cross the street in Vietnam, the at Confin, whatever. Just wait forever, because eventually there's gonna be an opening, right? Maybe you'll be waiting at 10 in the morning and the traffic doesn't die down until midnight, right? So eventually you get to cross the street. You just gotta wait. Maybe I can wait from now until December. There'll be an opening eventually. All right, folks, I kind of want to end this live stream before my data runs out on me um, for real. And then I'll have troubles ending it without like forcing it. So I'm going to call it a night, but good to know I can push two hours and 50 minutes on this new SimFar, which is awesome. So I thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hit the like button, subscribe. And the weight guy never made it to Vietnam Dream Machine. <laughs> I don't see him. Appreciate everyone. Bye.